Uh, I'm going to do another blind one. I don't know what this is, but I'm going to play it. I think. Let me double check. Uh, this one's another one. I don't know if it is able to be played. Hold on. Uno momento, poor favor. Hold on. One second. I believe this is fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Okay, cool. Mm. Oops. Ooh. Oh, man. This sounds good. I checked to see if it's uh, licensed by a uh, like a big company like Sony or um, oh, what is it like Universal. That's basically the only thing I'm looking for. Or if it's been released and it wasn't actually released, you know, I'm trying to look for uh, things of that. How can you tell? Down in the information, they have a license area. Gonna bring it back up. There it is, yeah. It's, it's really good. The only other thing I'm looking for, anti-axiom, or axiom, is um, or anti-axiom. If it's been released and it's not actually been released, like if it's been leaked, I don't play that. That's basically it. Like if I see like an unlisted song, and it's from a guy who has like one sub. I'm like, ah. Yeah. Uh, Rubble, Rubble, Cat, everything is copyrighted. Oh! What I'm looking for is if it's been licensed out by a big company. Very copyrighted? Yeah. I'll give y'all a very simple explanation in just a moment. Let me let me finish it. I'm gonna give y'all the most simple explanation ever to uh, what I look for. Okay, ready? All right. Every song, every single song ever is copyrighted. Okay. Um, what I'm looking for is if it's been licensed out by a big company like Sony or uh, Universal or something of that nature, Warner uh, Chapel Music. Basically, any of those I, I stick away from because those are dangerous. Every song that you play on Twitch comes with risk. Uh, unless it's NCS, yes, that makes sense. Uh, so every song that you play on Twitch comes with risk. Uh, whenever I'm playing gaming music, I'm taking a very, very, very small risk because um, video game composers are usually super cool um, with me being able to play this stuff on the cast. I'm also not charging for it, so I'm playing it for free. Uh, basically, that's how that works. If I were to play something from Disney, that is an exceedingly high risk. Exceedingly high risk. So I stick away from those. You see what I'm saying? Like, I might not be caught, but if I am, the mouse is going to tan my cheeks, and I don't want that to happen. So, <laughs> so that's the thing. Basically, uh, that's how it works. Is um, There's a really cool thing here. I want to sh show you all something. Um, Oh, excuse me. So I'm not going to play this song. I'm going to mute it. Uh, I'm not going to play this song at all. But I want to show you all something. I want to show you all a little bit of a, uh, a trick, okay? I'm going to show you all a YouTube trick here. Uh, let me pull up uh, Toxicity. Okay. God, how I wish I could play this song, man. I love this song so much. So uh, if, you, if you go, <clears throat> excuse me, if you go down in the, uh, in the thing below the video here and you click on the information, go show more. There will sometimes, not every time, but there will sometimes be a music license thing here. 
And that means that that is, uh, well, depends on where the license comes from. So SME, I don't play that. That's, that's Sony Music Entertainment. So if it is, um, if it's SME, I don't touch it. Sony ATV, uh, Latin Auto, uh, uh, Autoperf, uh, Sony Music Publishing. Basically, that right there is a big freaking no-go. You, you don't want to play any of this stuff on Twitch. Once again, I'm not a lawyer, but this is how, this is how I, uh, I decide whether or not I play a song on my stream, okay? Um, so if it, is, uh, if it says something from Sony or from Warner, Classic, uh, Warner Chapel or, uh, or any of those, any of the big ones, I do not touch it with a 10-foot pole, a 10-foot drumstick, because uh, it is a high risk to play. Uh, I might not get caught. I might get caught. I don't want that to happen, you see. Uh, the only time that I will play stuff like from Dragon Force, right? I have permission from Herman Lee himself to play stuff from Dragon Force. I have permission from the Fat Rat to play his stuff. Um, I have permission from a bunch of different artists because I've, I've reached out to them, and they were super kind to give me permission. But even then, I'm still taking a risk because their publishers might say, hey, we don't want you playing this stuff without paying us. So that's basically how it works. It's a, it, it, there's a lot more. Once again, I'm not a lawyer. But that is an idea that gives a little bit of an insight into how I pick what I play and how I say uh, that that's whenever the skip card comes into play. Or if it's not music at all. <laughs> or if it's not music at all, I'll use this. But yeah, uh, but that's that's the thing. And sometimes I will even play stuff that gets muted here on Twitch. And Twitch actually protects them. They're, they're protecting themselves technically. Uh, but they protect themselves by muting the VODs so that it doesn't stay on their systems, which also technically protects me as the player. So uh, that's the thing. They're not doing it to protect me, though. They're protecting themselves because this is a safe harbor, um, which is a whole other thing. That's a DMCA uh, safe harbor. It's a whole other can of worms. I'm not getting into it. But basically, TLDR, too long, didn't read. I check to see if it is licensed heavily down here. And if it is, I don't play it. Super simple. That is the, that's super simple. And I recommend anybody who streams on Twitch go by this rule and then also uh, be careful. Just be careful overall because every single piece of music that you play on this platform, it comes with risk. Okay? <laughs> Too long, didn't listen. <laughs> oh! Uh, but yeah. So yeah, that, that right there, um, that is something that I recommend to every drum streamer, uh, not, or, or any music streamer, honestly. Um, but it is up to you how much risk you take with your channel. With me, I want to be able to do this for a very long time. And y'all like video game music anyways. So that's what we do. That's why we do it this way. Uh, yes, that, that is the same advice that I gave to Jackie and I have. Yes. Uh, what if I make my own song? Then it's mine and I can play it. Uh, as long as it doesn't come with, as long as it doesn't have samples from stuff that is licensed, you see. Um, but yeah, uh, and that right there, that right there is a, 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 like there's so many different things. That's why whenever I, I say suggest a song, y'all are welcome to suggest anything that y'all want to. And I will let you know if you need to change it. So uh, if I find it, I'm like, oh, I can't play it. Give me another one. I'll just, I'll let you switch out a song. Because I don't want y'all to have to worry about licensing and copyright and all that crap. That's my job. I want y'all to enjoy the stream. And that's why I just say, suggest whatever you would like to as long as it's family friendly. Boom. That is easy. You never have to ask. Uh, you never have to ask about your song suggestion. If it's on the list, I see it. I click on it. If you can't play it, I'll let you know. If I can play it, then we're going to freaking rock it. So that's how it goes. Super simple. We have like a really, really nice way of doing things here. And I freaking love it. So that is basically it. <laughs>